Insomniac Games' Spider-Man series has been a massive hit in the world of comic book video games. It's been a breath of fresh air when you consider recent superhero titles like Avengers and Gotham Knights that left us wanting more. Even Rocksteady's Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, has faced some bumps in the road, with a delay to February 2024, making us wonder what's happening. But fear not, because Insomniac is back to save the day with Marvel's Spider-Man 2. What's truly impressive is how Insomniac has been consistent in expanding their own Marvel universe. They released Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales, just two years after the first game, and now, three years later, we have Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Fans had to be patient since the game's announcement in 2021 at the PlayStation Showcase, but the wait was well worth it. This epic sequel has a lot to offer, but one thing that might divide players is whether the story in Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is better than the first game. Insomniac Games took risks with the 2018 Spider-Man PS4 by straying from the familiar comic book lore. While Spider-Man 2 tells a more complete story, with both Peter Parker and Miles Morales getting their moments to shine, some of the surprises and risks from the first game aren't as prevalent here. Despite that, Marvel's Spider-Man 2 explores a more powerful Peter Parker and his growth. His relationship with Harry Osborn feels authentic and adds depth to the story. Miles Morales continues his journey, building upon what we saw in his own game. Mary Jane Watson also gets more character development, and her struggles are not solely tied to Peter's. The symbiote is a significant part of the story, but its impact could have been explored more. The villains, like Kraven the Hunter, are formidable but